Today we're going to go after one of the worst grinds I have ever done and try to get the Platinum Trophy for Madden 24. And you'll want to stick to the end of this video because some things go wrong really fast. With there only being 22 total trophies, you would think this grind would be easy, right? Absolutely not. There is one section of this grind that has been known to take over 150 hours to complete. For us to get through this grind, I broke down our platinum journey into three steps. First is going to be all about franchise mode. Second, we're going to go ahead and just do all the miscellaneous trophies. And then finally, we're going to hop into the massive grind that is superstar mode. So without further ado, I won't waste any more time. Let's go ahead and hop into Madden and let's see if we can get this platinum trophy. All right, so we're going to hop into franchise first and we're going to go ahead and knock out quite a bit of trophies. First one we're going to do right now is we're going to hop into a fantasy draft. We will make our first pick to guarantee that we get a 99. And as we can see, we have plenty of them. So we're just going to go ahead. We're going to take, you know, shout out to all my Swifties out there. We'll take Travis Kelsey, number one. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. And then what I want to do next, I want to take. Bijan, because if I'm correct, Bijan has hidden dev. So if we draft him, this should unlock a stud finder for drafting a rookie with a hidden draft trait. Nice. First trophy down. All right. Now we can go ahead and just skip to the end of the draft. Now, once this finishes up, we got roster reshuffle. This is for completing a fantasy draft. We're, uh, we're knocking through these trophies. All right, so now that we've finished the fantasy draft, we got everything set up for Bijan to win Rookie of the Year. We're going to go on ahead and we're going to relocate the Dolphins. Even though I would never do this, we're just going to relocate and it really doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and let's do, let's do Paris. We'll go to Paris. We'll be the, the Paris Blues. We'll do a basic futuristic finish. And there we go. Change of scenery for relocating a team. It's another trophy and we're pushing through franchise. All right, let's see. Does Bijan have his downs yet? He does. He is an X Factor. And there we go. Future of the franchise. Reveal a rookie's X Factor potential. We got that one done. That was probably one of the harder ones. I'm glad I was able to do that during the fantasy draft. Now we just got to get him a couple awards. All right, so now that we've made it to the postseason, we can look at the awards. Okay, so Bijan is Offensive Rookie of the Year for pretty much pretty sure. There we go. And we unlocked Offensive Rookie of the Year. That's for winning Rookie of the Year with one of our players. That was going to be with Bijan. So we got one of the bigger, more of the more niche trophies to get. their franchise, so we'll take it. All right, the next thing we have to do is we do have to re-sign a 90 overall plus player to our team. We have Garrett Wilson, who got all the way up to a 93. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to sign him to like a very friendly player deal. Uh, we're even going to toss him some extra money. Here's a big signing bonus just to hope to make sure that he stays and he does, which gives us deal maker for resetting a 90 overall plus player. Welcome back to the team, Garrett Wilson. And that's another trophy down. So next, what we need to do is we need to sign a free agent that's over a 90 overall. We have Carlton Davis, the third. I may or may not have juiced his stats a little bit because there was not a 90 overall on free agency. But like I said, we're gonna offer him a very friendly player deal. And that's gonna unlock us big spender, winning a free agent bidding war for a 90 overall plus player. Got another trophy down. Now I just think we need to win the MVP and get to the Super Bowl. Now, when I tell you it took me seven different tries to get an MVP, as well as just to win the Super Bowl, this took me so long. All right, so we're at the Super Bowl. I'm hoping with this 99 overall team, I, when I tell you I've spent the last hour trying to put teams together to make it to the Super Bowl, we either have a like crazily good team and we don't even make the playoffs, or we get to like the second round and we lose to the Patriots with Mac Jones. If you know, you know. We lost the Super Bowl. I, I don't know what to do. They don't want me to get this platinum trophy. Oh my God, we lost. We When I tell you, this team is all 99. Like, I'm not even joking. This whole team is 99 overalls. And we lost to a 13-4 and four Tennessee Titans with Ryan Tannehill as the quarterback. A few minutes later. I have now had to stack the deck so there is no way I cannot get this. I tried to do this with a little bit of luck and a little bit of just like putting it all together, but no. I At this point, I've tried like, it's been like 15 different Sims and I just could not either win the Super Bowl and win MVP. I couldn't do either of them. So now I had to basically make it so that I, I am the script writers. I am the NFL script writers. So now if we sim to the Super Bowl, 
that should unlock us MVP for winning an MVP with one of our players. Six and a half hours later. All right, so we made the Super Bowl again, and clearly something isn't popping or something isn't going right. So I'm literally going to play this game to make sure that we win the Super Bowl. We're going to play the moments, and if it's close, we'll hop in and play. But us being in here should guarantee that we get this trophy. There's no fair sims. There's no nothing. There's no way to do it. We're just playing the game. All right, we should be falling down there. Perfect. Two, one, and there we go. That was way harder than it needed to be, but that should mean once we leave here, we should be getting a trophy for winning the Super Bowl. All right, we won the Super Bowl, and that's where we get bragging rights for winning the Super Bowl in online league. Even with a fully 99 overall team, we still managed to keep the game close. I played like the key moments mode, so that way it would just sim faster, and we almost lost until I had to hop in and do it myself. But we won the Super Bowl. Franchise, for the most part, is done. So now we're on to the cleanup portion of our grind. We're really just focusing on play versus CPU and hopping in and completing some of the more niche random challenges that they have to get us some trophies. All these trophies you're about to see, we actually were able to get them all in one game just by messing with the sliders, putting it onto 15 minute corners on rookie difficulty. Should make this grind process really easy. There we go, throwing dots, got a throwing passing touchdown using the low throw mechanic. That was kind of weird and funky just based on the fact I just threw like a lob for like 60 yards with Tua. But hey, we'll take it. Oh, there we go, lockdown corner. Finally got this trophy, it took me forever. When three presses in a single game with the same cornerback. We will take it, Jalen Ramsey coming in clutch. Okay, swim, okay, I got a swim. I don't know what my other one was, but. Oh, we got it, unblockable. On three plays, create a sack or a tackle loss after a pass rush move win using a different rush move each time. All right, that was a more annoying trophy than I thought it was gonna be, but we got it done. Come on, keep it going. There we go, prime time. Gain yards while using Celebration Loco over the course of a single game. I believe we had to get around 50 yards, but that felt like it took way longer. Another trophy down. This now begins what is the biggest grind in all of Madden 24, and that's gonna be Superstar Mode. Now for Superstar Mode, there are five different positions you can play. Quarterback, running back, wide receiver, corner, and linebacker. Each of them coming with different challenges and of course a different way to play. But with each one of those positions comes with a trophy that on average takes anywhere from 30 to 50 hours to complete. So the first position I started out with was halfback just because I started it earlier this year when the game came out just to try it. So I thought better yet, let's just start with this one. And for the first few games, I did have some fun being able to play as a halfback in superstar mode, being able to break tackles, go for long runs is super fun. But that novelty wears off very, very fast. So for the next 25 hours over multiple seasons, we are grinding game after game, trying to maximize our XP to then get us to level 50 in our path, which will then unlock us a trophy. However, this is where the problem arises. What's wrong with you, bro? What the heck? You tripping, bro. You tripping. <laughs> you see, after every single game, it's gonna bring you to this after report that shows you how much XP you earned in game and then bonus XP that you get from your grade as well as other accomplishments you got in the game. Now I started to notice once I reached around level 30 that I was gaining XP at such a lower rate that I started getting confused. I'm averaging the same amount of yards as I was in the beginning, same amount of touchdowns, nothing was changing. Then I started paying a little bit more attention and started realizing that after I was finishing these games, my final game report wasn't coming up and that all this extra XP that I was earning from my grades, from my extra bonuses, as well as my seasonal objectives weren't popping. So that means I wasn't getting XP excluding from the XP that I earned in game from my different, you know, scoring touchdowns or getting rushing yards. And there are even some games where I didn't earn any XP at all. 
Now here we are five days later. I recorded that a few days back just to wait and see if maybe something had changed. And of course, five days later, there has been no change. I've created multiple other positions to see if maybe it was just the running back. It is all my positions. So then I waited to see if I could get an answer from EA support, if this is an like issue they're seeing. And of course, they have no information for me. So yet again, I am now prevented from really getting this platinum, not because it's unobtainable, but the fact is, is now I'm going to have to do double, maybe even triple the work just so I can get five trophies. And keep in mind, this grind was gonna take 30 to 40 hours for each one of them before. Now if we have to double it, it could take up to 80 hours just for one trophy. And then I gotta do it over four more times. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not worth it. I, you know, I want to love EA and Madden and just the EA in general, but it's just like when these things happen, I can't do it. And if you guys are mad about it, I'm sorry. Trust me, I, you can ask anybody that was with me while I was doing this that I didn't want to quit. I didn't want to have to, you know, say, oh, well, you know, EA screwed me over just a typical day. But I really have no choice. I want to make more content for you guys. I have more things I want to do, more things to get out. And I can't be stuck sitting here for 300 hours grinding Madden 24 just to make sure that I can get the full platinum out when it's not even my fault. But I will tell you, once this does get fixed, I'm going to try it maybe every couple weeks just to give it a see if it does fix itself. And if it does, I will go after the full Madden platinum. I want to get the platinum because there's so little people that have already gotten it before the bug even existed. But I want to be one of the people that complete it and I'll make a video then once I do it. But until then, I just want to say I appreciate you guys so much for watching. As always, if you guys enjoyed, feel free to click the like button down below. We have lots of more Platinums coming and comment down below what Platinums you guys want to see from me that ones that I can actually complete and not ones that unfortunately are just going to prevent me due to some stupid bugs. Again, I appreciate you guys for watching as always and I'll see you guys again in another video. Peace.